Hi, this video will introduce the two wire LP intercom solution, including wiring and basic setup. The two wire low power consumption intercom solution effectively addresses the challenges faced in retrofitting projects of old buildings. By allowing the reuse of existing wiring, this solution significantly reduces wiring costs and labor expenses. In this solution, the Indoor Monitor 2 Wire CE313WLP is installed in each apartment. The indoor monitors in this building are powered on by a single two-wire network switch and SLP2. The S532 door phone is connected to the communication system via the two-wire network connector. The NSLP2 supports 30 indoor monitors. It supports 29 indoor monitors and one R20. It supports 27 indoor monitors and one S532 when using 150W power adapter. During installation, basic functions like calling, unlocking, and monitoring can be performed even without internet access. Once connected to the internet, the system can seamlessly integrate with Smart Plus Cloud, allowing users to use the Smart Plus app. This video covers wiring of devices, initial setup, and how they work with Smart Plus app. Let's start with the wiring. The products used in this video are the 2-wire C313WLP, 2-wire NCLP, 2-wire network connector, NC2, 2 in 10 out connector, and S532. There are two connection methods. One is the star connection. Use the 2 in 10 out connector equipped with the NSLP, 2 to connect four indoor monitors and the switch. The network switch needs to be powered by a 48 volt 3.2 ampere power adapter. Another is the daisy chain connection. Use the two in 10 out connector to connect one indoor monitor. Then connect indoor monitors via their PLC interfaces. Let's try the star connection first. To power on the two wire low power consumption network switch, connect the power adapters positive and negative wires to the switch's 48 volt and g and &E interfaces. Then, connect the two in 10 out connector to the switch via PLC interfaces. You can use any pair of PLC interfaces. Here we use PLC1. Next, connect the connector to the indoor monitor via its PLC interfaces. Take PLC1 as an example. There is no difference between using PLC1 or PLC2. Do the same to connect another indoor monitor. Now, for indoor monitors are connected. To connect more indoor monitors, connect another connector to the first one. Then, connect four indoor monitors to the second connector. 
two-wire network connector is used for connection between the Dorphone S532 and the two-wire network switch. Connect two-wire network connector and the network switch via PLC interfaces. Use an Ethernet cable to connect the two-wire network connector and S532. Turn on the power and all devices light up. Let's move to the daisy chain connection. To power on the NSLP2, connect the power network's positive and negative wires to the switch's 48 volt and GE interfaces. Then connect the two and 10 out connector to the switch via PLC interfaces. You can use any pair of PLC interfaces. Here we use PLC one. Next, connect the connector to the indoor monitor via its PLC interfaces. Here we use PLC1. There is no difference between using PLC1 or PLC2. Connect another indoor monitor to the first one via PLC. Do the same to connect the next indoor monitor. Now, for indoor monitors are connected. To connect more indoor monitors, connect another connector to the first one. NC2 is used for connection between the Dorphone S532 and the two-wire low-power consumption network switch. Connect NC2 and the network switch via PLC.
Use an Ethernet cable to connect the NC2 and S532. Turn on the power and all devices light up. Since devices boot up, we can start the initial configuration. On the indoor monitor, select the time and language and set the device role in all two wire devices. In cases where multiple indoor monitors are used, the master device will provide the network for the others, which will operate in slave mode. Set the building, floor, and room numbers based on where the device is actually installed. To set the device role, if only one indoor monitor is installed in an apartment, designate it as the master. In this case, it will be the main device where users scan the QR code and register the Smart Plus account. Click Next. If no apartment door phone is installed, simply skip this step. If there is, the scan door phone will play a ding sound when it receives a signal from the indoor monitor. At the moment, press its call button and check it on the indoor monitor to join the family. To make a call using the S532, enter the building number, followed by the hash symbol, then the floor number and room number. The indoor monitor will receive a call. If the S532 is used within the same building as the indoor monitor, simply enter the floor number and room number, such as 203 to call. During a call, residents can press the unlock tab to open doors. Welcome, please After indoor monitors access the internet and you add them to the Smart Plus cloud, users can scan the QR code on the indoor monitor to use the Smart Plus app. To connect the indoor monitor to a Wi-Fi, tap more on the home screen. Then tap setting, advance, and enter the password to access the advanced settings. The default is 123456. Tap network and enable WLAN. Select the desired Wi-Fi and enter the password. The signal icon in the upper left corner indicates a successful network connection. The Smart Plus QR code will display. Users can scan the QR code to download the app or register the Smart Plus account. Enter the information and tap Submit. It will display registering succeeded. The user's email will receive a welcome email from a Kuvox. Scan the QR code in the email to log in successfully. Tap call to call the target device. Thanks for watching.